Hi, my name is Katie. I'm with Feathers and Fleece. I'm going to go over your Go Home packet to show you what every page inside your packet represents. So if you look on the left side of your packet, the first page is your receipt. This is going to show um, your name, your address, all of the actual client information, and show that you're paid in full. It'll also list your litter and size. The second page is the most important page in the packet. This is your client vet record. So it's going to discuss everything there is to know about your puppy. So at the top, you'll see um, the date you, you picked your puppy up as well as the price. Here in the, on the left-hand side is um, our information. So if you ever have any questions for us, all details can be found there. Below that is your information. So it has your name, your phone number, your email address for our records. And then below that is everything about your puppy as well as Dr. Bradford's information. If you ever have any questions or your veterinarian has any questions, feel free to reach out to him. He may just ask you for this information located right here. Um, you're going to see that it has your puppy's uh, breed, size, gender, color, and date of birth. Below the date of birth, you're going to find the microchip number, which your puppy has been microchipped, and we'll go over more information on that in just a bit. But he may also ask you for the mother and father of your litter, which you'll find here where it says Sire and Dane. So if you do have questions for Dr. Bradford, just give him a phone call here, and then he'll provide this information so that he can find your litter record. Moving on is the medical record below. This is everything your puppy has received at our farm to date. So anywhere you see Nemex, that's a puppy warmer. The date given will be right to the left of that. Below Nemex is Panicure. Panicure is also a different kind of puppy warmer. And below that is says Novavax. So Novavax is the actual five-way vaccination. When you are um, talking about the puppy shots, that's what the Novavax vaccination covers. So it covers the main thing that we're worried about is parvo. So for this vet record, this puppy has had two full sets of shots. So Novavax is the vaccination, date given is below, and the corresponding stickers for that puppy is located below that. So you'll see in this one, date given was May 14th, 2020, Novavax vaccination, corresponding stickers. The next one was given on 52120, corresponding stickers for that vaccination. So for this puppy, the last date given was 521. The next set of shots would be able to be given two weeks after that date. So when you're wondering, when does my puppy need my next set of shots, look at the last date given for your Novavet vaccination and add two weeks, and that would be the next time your puppy can have vaccinations. This puppy is too young to have rabies, but at the age of 12 weeks, your puppy can receive rabies. So if you look here and you do not see a rabies vaccination, then when your puppy is 12 weeks old, your veterinarian will schedule that last rabies shot. So you'll get, this puppy still needs one rabies and one vaccination to be fully done. So um, again, if you have three stickers, you're all set. So that's your vet record. If you have additional questions on any of this, please let us know. This is your go home packet, just extra training tips, things to read through. The most important page is located directly on the back, so usually stapled. So the back page is going to go over the feeding guide. We feed twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. You can adjust that to a time that works for your family. So if you guys get up around 7 and you want to feed around 8, totally fine. 8 and 5 is what we do. You can feed as early as you want and as late as you want, as long as it's the same each day. Um, make sure that after you fed your puppy 10 minutes or so and he'll be ready to process. So... Um, we're going to go over the feeding information a little bit more in just a minute. Jennifer will also send all go-homes the hooray email that kind of tells you um, the food we're feeding, how much we're feeding, and additional training tips and feeding tips to continue on. Um, we typically take the food portion, the water portion, and put them together like a cereal or soupy substance. At that point, your puppy will take in both portions at the same time and be able to process at the same time. So we, can, we recommend that you continue that for approximately – one to two weeks on your end until you get into a good routine. Once you're in a good routine, you can separate those portions out. The biggest thing is that a puppy at this age does not have respect for water yet, and they get really excited, so they'll drink all the water because they love water, and they'll eat very little of the food, which fills the bladder and makes it difficult for potty training. So that's going to lead into the correlation between feeding and potty training guide. This is just going to tell you how much water your puppy actually needs a day. Your puppy only needs one ounce of water per pound of body weight. Um, most puppies that leave our farm weigh, you know, anywhere between 8 and 12 pounds. So typically it's about two cups a day. Um, so just add that to the morning feeding, the evening feeding. And if you have a big play that day or you take them on a long walk, you're welcome to give more water. That is totally fine. Just remember whatever water goes in is going to come back out. Um, we don't want you to have issues during the potty training process. So the more that we can, you know, make sure they're taking in what they need, but at certain times of the day, the easier your lives are going to be. So this is your actual 
microchip enrollment form. Now, some clients will have a different kind of, pack of um, pamphlet. They're all by the AKC Reunite. So all of this information is the same. The pamphlet may just look a little bit different. So um, all of our microchips are through the AKC Reunite, unless there is some issue which we would tell you which your microchip is with at that point. But the AKC Reunite, um, there is a website on all of your pamphlets that's going to tell you where to go. If you go to this website, you can enter the number that's listed inside your packet. Um, mo for this pamphlet, it'll be here. On the other one, it'll be located on the front. All you have to do is go to that website, enter that number. It's a one-time registration fee of like $17, and then it's forever in your name. If you forget to do that, all AKC microchips are registered to our farm. So if you forget to do that, your puppy is still registered. They're still covered under our farm. If your puppy is lost or stolen or missing, they'll contact us and say, listen, I found this puppy at this location. This is the microchip number. Can you assist us in finding the owners? It takes a little bit longer, so we have to go through with the clients in that area to figure out whose puppy that is. So if you do register that, it cuts us out as the middleman and will be a much faster process for you. Additionally, the AKC does want you to get their pet insurance, so they're going to give you a free 30 days of pet insurance when you register your microchip. So um, that should be pretty much everything. We talked about your receipt, which shows that you're paid in full. Um, we talked about your vet record, and then we talked about um, training tips, feeding, the correlation to potty training, and your microchip. So for most clients that are um, did not do a training program, that's pretty much everything you need to know. If you did a training program, you will also find a training receipt attached inside your Go Home packet, as well as the training pamphlet. So the training pamphlet is going to um, just explain to you what your puppy's done here, training tips on how to continue what we've already started on your end for the best success for a training program. Um, the receipt is just going to show that you're paid in full, discuss the, the number of weeks your puppy was enrolled for, um, as well as areas that we thought may need to have additional work while he, was, he or she was here. So um, if certain things are circled, just means we experienced some issues in that field and we've been working on them. Um, if there's any additional questions on any of your training things, please let us know and we can go over anything individually. So um, that should be everything. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to let us know, um, but we will have everything all ready for you. Thanks and have a great day.